All right, so let's take a look at how to make another brush bot, or art bot, I should say. So I've got a Dixie cup here, or a Solo cup. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue uh, my, my motor right on the top with my wires hanging out so I can put something to the top of this. Uh, one of the things that I did with the motor that I have is I just added a little bit of extra wire. So I just cut some wire, stripped it, and taped it so I have a little bit more room to operate with. Um, this is optional, just depending on what kind of DC motor you have. Um, also keep in mind with this, that you might want to use double-sided foam tape when you're experimenting first. Um, because the hot glue obviously works really well. And so if you need to make changes, where in one of my prior ones, I wanted to try to take this motor off and I end up ripping the motor and ruining the motor. And these, you know, aren't cheap. So um, I always recommend using foam tape first, double-sided, and stick things, make sure it works. Then you can always go back and, and hot glue everything in. But once you hot glue it, um, things are gonna be pretty permanent. So just, you know, keep that in mind. So I'm gonna stick some, um, Hot glue right here in the middle for my DC motor. I'm going to set that in here just like so, so I've got that, let that dry. And then we're going to take two AA batteries and we're going to tape them together. So this is like a really like cheap man's version of a battery pack because I know not everybody has these double-A battery packs, I mean, these are the really ideal, kind of like the previous um, art bot, you could just hot glue it to the side. But I realized these are hard to find. I know I went around our town, the Lowe's and Home Depot and Hobby Lobby and all those, and I could not find them, so I had to buy them in bulk online. But So if you don't have that, you can just take two double-A batteries, put them together, and just tape them together. Make sure you test ahead of time before you glue these down. And so, I just run a test and I know I'm in good shape. So you could do two things. You could use foam tape, run foam tape on the sides to hold the battery in. Um, so I'll do that for the sake of this video just so you can see the foam tape. Uh, normally I would just hot glue all these in, um, but I realize if you make a mistake, like I said, then you can ruin your stuff. So um, if I do the foam tape, and so I just got this double-sided foam tape here, and I just stick that on there. I can just stick these batteries right there, and they'll hold in pretty well. And I can just double-check my connections again. Now if I had a rubber band, I would just rubber band these and hold this all in place. Yeah. So I'm just going to use some electrical tape to hold these in. So. Uh, if I just get two little strips here, I can stick this wire right on there just to hold it in place. And this makes it really easy to kind of turn my robot on and off once I get going. And then over here, I can tape this on. And we're in good shape. So I'm just going to loosen that up there so that this doesn't run the whole time. All right, once we have that, then we just need to get our, our, our legs in underneath. So I'm going to grab some markers here. So I just bought some cheap markers from the dollar store. You can use markers to have this sitting around anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to pick these three colors here, black, magenta, and red. You could tape these to the outside. Um, you could glue them to the inside like I did with this one. Um, however you want to do it, you could use rubber bands. So for me, I'm going to glue these in just because I like to glue my, my markers on. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to stick this guy on here. A little bit taller. So I'm going to use the, the lines of the, of the cup as my marker just to make sure that all my legs are as close to being the same height as possible. I'm going to go ahead and stick some uh, glue on here. So hold these guys in place and make sure the glue sticks while it cools. And you know what? I'm going to do one more. 
I'm gonna go four legs on this one. Just because I haven't done four legs before. So we'll go ahead and stick another leg on there. Because why not, right? That's how we learn and try out new things and see what happens. It would be kind of cool to line this whole thing up with just pure markers. Maybe that'll be my next uh, art bot. All right. Now, I just need to add some decoration. I got my legs going here. My legs are looking good. This guy's a little crooked, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna add some designs and then we should be up and running. So I could have stick another glue stick in here. I got some googly eyes that I'm gonna use. I got some blue googly eyes here I'm gonna stick on. There's one right here. Ah, looking good. We'll add some arms here. I got some pipe cleaner here. I'm gonna give him a, just a big old arm here. Go ahead and lock this guy in with some glue. Ouch. Remember how glue is hot? In case you didn't know. I'm gonna trim this one up a little bit. All right, the last thing we wanna do is just add something to the top. And so these guys need something like an off balance, which is what's gonna make them move. So we need to add something up there. And so if you've got like a cork, you could put a cork up there and then glue on like a popsicle stick. Um, I'm gonna go with a little tiny paper clip that I have. So let me go ahead, or a clothespin. So I'm gonna put that there. And then we should be in shape for a new art bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear some room here, get all my junk off my mat, flip this guy around so we can see what he does. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take these lids off. I'm gonna fire up the brain power here. Holy cow, we've got power. And here we go. Let's see what happens. Woo! So we could go through and just check out all sorts of different things and um, see what they come up with. So I've got one leg that's not hitting the ground. So I might want to go back and fix that, but that's just part of the process and the journey. And so there is another version of an art bot that you can make. All right, guys. Stay awesome. And let me see what you make and develop and create. Creativity, imagination are the key to life, guys. So start with instructions and then go out and make your own.